What's poppin' world, you heard? Back at it again with another video. <laughs> yeah, once again, we got a controversial discussion that we got to talk about this morning. So without further ado, y'all ready to title? Let's get into it. The year is coming to an end. And if not already, people are talking about 2025 and what to expect out of this new year as we closing out this uh, near and dear third quarter going into the fourth quarter you feel me just like with any fourth quarter you gotta close out you feel me you gotta be clutch you gotta win the game is winning this game sometimes has an influence on the next game. So let's get right into it, right? If the pivot of the Fed, right, has cut 50 basis points, then that would mean, right? Fifty basis points means that uh, you know things are going to go for is like a new transition. Now, with anything with economics, what you see happen now affects what happens later. It's not like only only specific sectors of the, the economy is instantaneous results but by and large everything's a delayed effect so if the stock market is uh at a low right um housing inventory is still at a low but the rates is going down so that might change the inventory to where there's more housing available right then that would mean that a transition is about to happen now it's a good side and a bad side to this right the good side is is if you prepare then you can capitalize on this next one to two years because there's going to be rare opportunities not as rare as the pandemic but Maybe about 50% of that rare. As far as like financial opportunities, you can invest in, right? So, you can get into housing. You can buy a car. You can buy some stocks. Well, okay. About the car, a car isn't really... I think that's a luxury investment, right? Um, it depreciates in value. Only certain cars for a certain period of time, a short period of time, where it actually goes up in value. But that's if you're buying a brand new car and due to certain levels of inventory, you know, uh, some cars could actually be worth more than uh, what they sold it to you for. So you can be able to trade it in, get a better deal, so on and so forth. But by and large, automobiles, if you will, are a depreciating asset. So, if you're looking to get into the stock market, um, I would say now's the time. Out of this entire, the 2020s, right? Now's the time. Right now. Um... Because the stock market always shot up, <clears throat> you know, well, I'll, I'll say this. When it crashed, you know, in 2020, and it shot back up due to, uh, you know, the government funding it and stuff like that, that was a very rare time. This is like more of a long-term opportunity. If you're looking into getting the crypto as well, um... 
There's certain crypto that's volatile. I think most crypto, even Bitcoin, is volatile. Um, but there's other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin in a cryptocurrency sense that's considered a store value. Kind of like gold and silver and stuff like that. So you can invest in the older, maybe like the first or second generation cryptocurrencies like uh, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, um, Ethereum is a new one. It's probably like a second or a third generation uh, cryptocurrency, but it's looked at as a store value only due to the fact that uh, the uses that uh, Ethereum has. You feel me? Because when you're looking at like uh, you know, like the blockchain and stuff like that, you know, NFTs and stuff like that. Ethereum has a lot to do with that, right? Um, my goal, right, this would probably, you know, probably gonna be able to look back on this video and uh, probably get some confirmation from this. My goal, Take ten thousand dollars and I'm just I'm just gonna throw majority of it in Bitcoin Cash, right? Um here's the reason why. If you look at the historical point of view of crypto uh, I mean uh, Bitcoin cash and not a financial advisor just a disclaimer do your own due diligence and you know do your own research and stuff like that but if you look at Bitcoin cash in the history of it I'm not going to bore you with all the nuances but pretty much it's in position to do something substantial over the next 10 to 15 years. And it's going at about a little bit over $300 right now. It was up 700 this year. And three years ago before that, it was up to 1600. And when it first broke off Bitcoin, it was really going for about 5,000. And I feel like one of these days, somewhere in the far, far future, it's going to return to that amount. But that's no here, no there. I'm just basically saying that you got to invest. You got to invest. This time to invest. Brothers, uh, tangible properties. Brother, certain stocks. Dividend stocks. Stuff of that nature. Um, that's just my personal point of view. So with that being said... You know, especially like with this uh, election about to wrap up. You know, uh, I just feel like, in my opinion, um, things are about to change, right? It's either gonna get worse or better. Or maybe both. Who knows? Thoughts, comments, concerns, leave them, leave them below. I'm about to.